A very good morning. My name is Alok Shrivastava, and after the huge or a long Diwali break, I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So I'll just like to share a couple of uh, happy moments we all shared during the Diwali festival. As you know, that it's a festival of colors, not colors. Sorry, so light because the picture is full of colors. So the colors come came in in my mind. So here it. Uh, it is uh, let me have the honor of sharing couple of very happy moments spent with the whole network nuts team so i'll just go through a couple of pics for you so that you all can see our faces beautiful faces beautiful clothes and everything beautiful so of like we have a small puja in our office the team from preet vihar you know couple of faces from here so i need not to mention or tag the pictures there it is beautiful pose beautiful team always a prankster you know who it is this is our preet vihar location in new delhi india one rangoli beautiful rangoli god almighty yo whole network nuts team and from here we are missing couple of guys so we miss you here because they were uh, out to uh, went to all the homes to celebrate the diwali with their families so we miss them here it it is that's great oh vishnu the guy who manages the other accounts he seems to be very happy here ho ho obvious reasons lovely faces the team the admin team that's great so after these beautiful pics of diwali that i had shared with you and i have got the honor of sharing with you and i have got the privilege of sharing of our happy moments with you all what's technical in this video in this video i'll just roll back again i'm going to show you just a moment i'll just i'm going to show you how to configure postfix for access control using either domain names or ip address means i have got a postfix server running here so the pre request is that you should be knowing how to configure a postfix server under rel 6 so i have got a postfix running here up and live and i have got couple of users already created here say so i have got a user named as alok and aryan and jack and boris and blah 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 that's fine so by default i just configured a simple postfix server no security configurations has been done here now so means if i show you the access file in the etc or i go in that particular folder etc postfix and access file it's blank the file is blank i have got no access restrictions so that means anybody can access my postfix server so for just showing you a small demo here what i i have got two client machines here one is running rel5 with a red background and another is a ssh for of my main server here so the host name of this machine is instructor.example.com what i'm trying to show you that if i do a telnet from here telnet as uh, so 192.168.0.38 38 38 is actually the ip address of my linux server i'll show you here if i give if config the ip address of my postfix server is 38 so i'm doing a telnet on 38 just to show you what i intend to explain you is here so i'm hitting on port number 25 no no issues and the machine name is linux storage.example.com and the postfix from 38 is responding me back fair enough i'm giving a couple of telnet commands i hope you all be knowing about these small commands linux storage.example.com that's great okay i give mail from alok at linux storage.example.com and the recipient is sorry aryan at linux storage dot example dot com that's great i give data and i write the subject here as say 
from instructor machine and say no access restrictions and I just that's good so means the mail if my mail server is working properly should be gone in into the mailbox of RN so I go to the mail server and I give a very basic command that's great from instructor machine no access restrictions that's great and the same can be done from a another machine means if I give the telnet command from here telnet 192.168.0.38 38 is again I am repeating you my IP address of my postfix server running on rel 6 that's fair enough it it is again responding me back and I'm repeating the same commands Linux storage dot example dot com that's great recipient to rn at linux storage dot example dot com fair enough expected that I anticipated that give data I write subject from rel 5 server with no access restrictions till now and I quit it so again the mail should be going into the mailbox of RN that's fine fair enough it is what we anticipated that means my mail server is accepting mails from all the machines in my domain in this lab I have got these two machines one is instructor another is rel5 server so the mail server is accepting mails from all the machines in your domain now the point came here I don't want to do that I want to restrict mailing from certain machines and I want to block certain IPs or machines that means in my example what I will do I will say say I don't want rel5 server to communicate with my postfix server and rest all the domain or all the machines in my domain can uh, use my mail server or I just want or it, you can have it in uh, say other way around I want at instructor.example.com should be allowed to communicate and rel5 server should not be allowed to communicate with the mail server up till now it is communicating with the mail server so the idea is very simple just go to your mail server open up your access file again go to the bottom it is always recommended just move ahead if you see there they had very clearly mentioned it here so because I got like suppose my DNS is configured here I give here instructor dot example dot com ok and I give say rest example dot com reject that means only instructor dot example dot com machine is allowed to communicate with my mail server and rest all the machines are not allowed to communicate and if you see here just making an entry in access file will do nothing as by default the main configuration file of the postfix main.cf will never read the access file so you need to tell the main.cf that please refer the access file for the access restrictions so just copy this line from here it is already mentioned here thanks to Linux and open source copy it from here save and come out open your main.cf file go to the bottom that's great paste it here I paste it here and bring it in a single line because that was a hash there so now the main.cf knows that the client restrictions are in this file now I save and come out here I go back to my access file and if you read carefully here you need to run the post map command whenever you do some editing or changes in this file so I copy it again I save and come out and I give this command now I give a service postfix restart now that means what did what this does is actually compile your configuration what you had done in the access file into a file access.db if you see the timestamp is same I hope you got the point so whenever you do any editing in access file you need to give this postmap command remember this please now as far as the access file is, con is concerned so now the communication should be allowed from instructor.example.com but 
it should not be allowed to any machine except instructor.example.com so by going with my configuration that theor that theoretically means that instructor.example.com machine should still be allowed to communicate and the rel5 server machine should not be allowed to communicate with my postfix server let's try uh, again give this command hello linux storage.example.com say mail from alok at linux storage.example.com that's great fair enough so means right now it's all good and now i give recipient to sorry rn at linux storage.example.com that's great data subject is from instructor machine and the matter is after implementing access restrictions whatever that's great Q gone so means this mail should again be going into where pool mail rn that's great fair enough as expected because instructor machine was allowed now i should not be allowed to do communication from this machine let's check it out hello linux storage dot example dot com mail from alok at linux storage dot example dot com that's great and recipient to rn add now check it out here linux storage dot example dot com error i cannot do this client host rejected access denied and just to make your fundamentals clear if at this moment i had not dropped the connection here the connection is still live here if i go to my server and i show you where log sorry mail log see here access denied for the ip address 49 49 is the ip address of my my rel server so means this machine is not at all allowed to communicate that is good that is what we anticipated so i am forced to put quit and i cannot send mail I or, or I cannot use the mail server from rel5 server machine that is good that is really good one more thing if you don't have the dns there you can also specify the ips here suppose i comment it out here and i give here say 192.168.0.254 is okay and you can give 192.168.0 is reject so either you are free to use fully qualified domain names or ip addresses and the very basic syntax is already mentioned here so now i had commented out the fully qualified domain name syntax and i am using the or i am trying to use the ip addresses save and come out because as i told you i had made changes in access file so i need to give a post map and i need to restart the service or reload the service now still I should not I go back again here I am doing a telnet Linux storage dot example dot com mail from alok at Linux storage dot example dot com recipient to rn at Linux storage dot example dot com data subject from instructor with ip address dot quit fair enough the mail should be in the rn spool that's fine with ip address now i am trying this from the bird machine hello linux storage dot example i'm just using the telnet command to make each and every step clear to you 
mail from alok same name at linux storage dot example dot com and recipient to rn at linux storage dot example dot com access denied again and if if i repeat the same step i go back here i check the log again i am having the same error message that you are not allowed to communicate 49 is rejected so that means both my configuration works either you can block certain machines based on fully qualified domain names or ip address so in this way you can configure your postfix for ip address or hostname based security and that can be very useful when you are running a private mail server or the mail server is supposed to cater only certain ip addresses or domain names so i hope you like the video and thank you once again for loving the channel and seeing the videos and we welcome all your comments or and compliments also so thank you guys once again god bless Take care. Ciao. Stop the video now. Where is the icon? Oh, here it is. Stop it.